Hello, my name is Steve Wilkinson. I am one of the production tutors here at the Academy of Contemporary Music and uh, just uh, been given the opportunity to talk a little bit about mental health, obviously being Mental Health Week now. And uh, it's something that as an educator, we have had to become more aware of, uh, not in the sense that no one in education ever is not aware of mental health, but we have to just be a little bit more understanding of it and be able to adapt to, to what the students need individually. So mental health is something that it does affect everyone and it, and it can affect people unexpectedly. It's not something that you're sort of born with most of the time. It's something that often can develop and, and sort of hit you completely out of the blue. Um, one moment you can be fine, the next day you feel like your world is over. I have experienced this myself. And, uh, and I have family members who've, who've gone through this and a lot of my family members who, who have um, are from the performance industry and the production industry and we all know that as creative people um, our minds tend to wander and go to places perhaps different to people who are not in this industry. We have to face very different battles to a lot of other people. We are always feeling the pressure that someone else is going to get our job or be better than us or we strive for the for the big heights of LA or you know the the glamorous lights of Hollywood or whatever you want to see it we are always putting that pressure on ourselves and it can take you to places you didn't think you were capable of and certainly for myself as as a younger person um, I was always into music and I found it very hard to really let myself go and show people who I really, really am. And that really is where you sell yourself as a music professional. That's where someone who loves music turns into a superstar, um, is when they reveal themselves and their true emotions. And that's a massive leap of faith to do. So as a younger age, I, I was bullied. I, I suffered with uh, many different types of anxiety, including performance anxiety. And it was when I was about 13 or 14, um, after years of bullying, I took a leap of faith with a group of my bandmates. And we all know that in school we had that one group of music friends that you, you could really rely on to, to pull you through. And we joined a band. And I mean, we were idiots. We, were, we wore flowery hats and flowery shirts and Hawaiian shorts as that was that was the band and I will say it loaded dice and if the boys are watching thank you um, I have never been this confident character and certainly when I was younger I was not that character and it was being in this band that brought me out of my shell that allowed me to again take a leap of faith perform in front of an audience um, kind of just step up to the haters as it were but just be able to say uh, it's okay to be yourself it's okay to not be perfect. Um, and we faced all sorts of criticism, not only for the Hawaiian shorts, which only lasted one gig, by the way. Um, we moved on from that and we just took on that criticism and we didn't let it eat away at us. And I know that there are students who I teach now and that criticism can really eat away at you and it can do horrible things to you. So as tutors now, we have to be extremely aware of how criticism, how anxiety, how depression, how all of these horrible illnesses and, and horrible situations can affect uh, a student's experience of university or college and just their general well-being. So I think as a tutor and an educator, I want to say that it's, it's really okay to, to not think that you're perfect. It's okay to think that you might be going through a tough time, but I don't ever want people to think that it's, that's going to last. You always need to know that there's always something better to go to. And uh, always know that there are people here for you. And the one thing I will say about college and university life is everyone is fully aware of, of health and mental health. And there's so much support for you now, um, wherever you might be, whether it's ACM or elsewhere. We, we are all in it for the common goal, which is to make sure that these illnesses and these horrible things do not stop you being you and do not stop you reaching your full potential. I am massively grateful for the support I had. I haven't told you everything, which I won't, but I went through a lot uh, and I'm massively grateful for the support of my, of my family and my friends and all the tutors that I had that 
allowed me to see that there really is something better to go to. It, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't need to to feel like there is not, there's not a, a better place to lead to. It's it's there's always something good, and if you hold on to that and you stay true to who you are, and you look for the support and you take it when you need it, it could be alright. It'll be fine.